Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to another video. Ah, this is January the 8th video, and more Package Minister stuff is coming, okay? I've done a lot so far, and we're just sort of taking a break from that for a little bit. Not long. On the 9th, I'll probably have more stuff up about Pac-Man. We'll cover more of that. After I finish DNF and Pac-Man, we'll jump right into APT, because it does need to be taught, because a lot of people are sucked into that type of distro. And I'm a fan of Pico OS. Today's video is about enabling VRR in GNOME. So what you want to do is open up your terminal first. And don't worry, it's not going to be all terminal. We need to do, uh, let's just do yay uh, deconf. Okay. Looking for something called the deconf editor. It's right there. It's number three. It's the extra package. Okay. We're going to install that. And once that's done, we open up the deconf editor. Now, this is very important if you want VRR. And that's the whole reason we're doing this. Good, that finished installing. And you need to go up to the top. You're going to hit search and you're going to type EXP. That will lead you to the experimental features. You're going to untick this. So normally it's like this. You're going to untick it and you're going to enable variable refresh rate. Clicking this, hit apply and you're going to log in and log out. And that's honestly all there is to it. Now, this can, of course, cause some issues. If you read in here, the reason why these are currently uh, experimental. Now, the new tweak tool that will be coming with GNOME 48 will allow you to enable experimental features that way. But for right now, this is the way to go. And again, if you're on a single monitor display and you need VRR and you think it makes your experience smoother, feel free by all means. Again, there's not really that much wrong with it. It's just, it, it, it's been marked as an experimental feature for a while until they get all the, um, the bugs ironed out, uh, the issues, you know, they need more testers. They need more information. They, they need more scenarios of testing. So if you are that type of person that wants to test as many games as possible, as many scenarios as possible with VRR enabled on GNOME, head to their GitLab and go to their mutter and find a thread and just start like, you know, putting down any issues that you encounter or anything like that. Because this year I want people to improve upon their bug reporting when it comes to GNOME, to KDE, to whatever, so that things this year can be better than last year. Because last year, almost nobody was doing bug reports. And then this year, that needs to change. It really does. We need to push as many bug reports as we can. We need to tell the developers what we want, how we want it, or if there's a bug and how it affects us and so on and so forth. I know it's tedious signing up for a new account and stuff, but it needs to be done so that we can essentially just have a better overall Linux experience. Because that's important in the long run. So I hope this video helped. If it did, subscribe, like this video, share the video, and I'm Matt's Creative, and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe.